Hey guys, I am Pastor Lori and welcome to Anointed with Power Ministries, a restorative ministry where we do all things to restore the believer. We want to blend medicine and faith. We do coaching, um, restorative coaching, Bible studies, weekly teachings, weekly, monthly gatherings, you name it, okay? Encouraging content for you. So I'm super excited about the word for September. I'm going to say a quick prayer and then we'll get started. So Father God, I just thank you for allowing us to come together for this amazing word, this amazing time, Father God. Decrease me, God. Increase you, O Lord. And in your mighty name, Jesus, I say amen, amen, amen. So guys, as you know, August is the month of new beginnings, right? New beginnings. And as we press into the month of September, it's going to be worker mode, okay? It's going to be time to grind. It's going to be time to walk out some things. Hallelujah. So we spent the whole summer pretty much just receiving miracles, receiving promises. People got married, people got pregnant, people relocated, uh, just walking into their promised land, okay? Um, and, and now we're heading into September, we're heading into the fall. And even though things may seem like they're slowing down, and which they are, right? When the fall comes, you wanna get that nice little, you know, uh, pumpkin spice latte, and, and, and the weather is transitioning from warm to cold in winter, but it really is a time for us to work. It's a time for us to prepare so that we could have a good spring. We could have a good harvest. So planning and prepping and um, writing down ideas, walking some things out. Because when prophetic words come into play and they're released, there are prophetic instructions that go with it. So God could give you a, a, a prophetic word or release a promise, but you've got to walk it out. You've got to put that word into motion, okay? If you don't walk out the prophetic promise the prophetic word, things will not change. Things won't move. Okay. So when God releases a prophetic word or a promise, it is conditional. Okay. You've got to make sure that you're walking in alignment with him. You got to make sure that you're walking it out. Okay. Period. And you have to, you have to make sure that you're in the will of God. Okay. Because promises that God makes are conditional. It really is dependent on us. It's dependent on, you know, if we even still want it, if we're willing to do the footwork, if we're willing to walk in obedience. Okay. So be careful of that. When you hear other prophetic voices, you know, saying, oh, it's yours no matter what. No, that's not accurate because you have to make sure that you're operating in decency and in order and when God releases a prophetic word that you're taking heed to it you're taking care of what is released to you the blessing it could be financial it could be a spouse you could lose that thing so you have to be careful God will do everything he can to help you to keep um the the promise to keep the word going forward but at some point he throws his hands up okay you you prayed for a wife I sent it Hey, you couldn't get your act together. You lost it, right? God is all about management. Are you managing that thing or mismanaging that thing? So I want you to keep that in mind as you walk forth into your promise, into these promotions, into these things that God has given you. Don't just think that because you got it, you can keep it because the enemy is always walking around and seeking to devour it. You have to be careful, be mindful, be prayed up and make sure you're walking in alignment with God so that you can properly manage and steward what God has given you. A ministry, business, the marital promise, children, whatever it is, God is always looking at management. How will you manage what I am giving? you because if not you can lose it think about Saul and the kingdom Saul mismanaged so he had to raise up David Saul mismanaged what God gave him as a as a king okay so you don't want to be like that you don't want to mismanage the responsibilities the promotion the position that God has given you okay sorry about that God guys that just kind of popped in there and was something that God wanted me to release okay but but this is a month of planning okay planning and being close to god for september being close to him and really being at his feet god what do you want me to do i have the promise now i have the 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 next steps now but how do i carry it out how do i walk it out right to see this thing through and for many of you your breakthrough is on the verge of your obedience your 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 relocating your marital promise all of it is on the verge uh, of, of coming to fruition based on your obedience and your next step. God said, don't just hold it and don't do nothing with it. Hold it and, 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 and do what I'm asking you to do, then release it, right? So it can come through. Don't get the promise, hold it, do nothing. Get the promise, 
seek God for instructions, walk it out, release it. Okay, so I'm excited about September. I'm excited as we press into the fall because these are the months to really plan. These are the months to really begin to work and walk out these things that God has given you so that when the winter time does come, you're in full speed of that thing. And then when spring comes, you should see a good harvest. If you start the ministry now, by spring, you should see a breakthrough in your subscribers, your followers, right? If you start the business now and you, you, know, you, you start the coaching now, you should see a breakthrough in the spring of your clients right that type of thing start now get started september is about getting started walk it out plan it out be close to god to see this thing through hallelujah so i pray that that, that this word would be helpful for somebody because God has given me many things to steward um, and I just got to walk it out. So you just have to walk it out. Don't receive and hold it and do nothing, right? Don't mismanage it, but manage it. So for me, that's where we are. We're managing, we're walking things out as promises continue to come through. I'm thankful about what God is doing. As you guys know, I am going to be promoting the book I just released, which is From Trauma to Purpose, A God. I heal and free the little girl inside of you. I'm not really good at promoting my, my books, but God wants me to start doing that more because this can help. So for those of you, don't be stingy with your, with your books, with your devotionals, your projects, something that God gave you to work on. Don't be stingy with it. Release it because it's not just for you. It's for the body. It's for God's glory, okay? Um, so yeah, I pray that this word was for somebody. I'm excited about September. I'm excited about doing the work and what God has given me to steward the elevation the promotion many of you you're in the same boat you've gotten some instructions you've gotten a promotion elevation marriage babies all of that and now it's time to work into it and carry that thing out and manage it properly so that we can keep it and sustain it okay so I love you guys have a blessed day and I'll see you soon God bless